Welcome to the Tom and Frenchie podcast. Oh, yes. Frenchie. Yes, it's one of these podcast wow, people. Wow, the glasses are on. Frenchie means business today, guys. I got the shades on, baby. Oh, it's it matches your jumper and shit? That was the plan. Wow. I'm wearing a white Nintendo hoodie. Whew. It's the trendiest thing I've ever worn. Is it? Yep. Nintendo 64, that's old too. That's it's vintage. Like old school oh. vintage. And white, you got to be a baller to wear white because you only get one mm. use out of it. True. One use, and then it's going to have shit stains or dirt, spew. Yeah. Where'd you get it? New? Uh, this is really fancy store. It's pretty high end. It's called H&M. Oh, wow. Heard of it? Mm, not bad. Have you heard of it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I call it ham. Ham. Oh, fuck. Mm. That's good. Yeah, I like thank that. you. There you go. Hey, welcome, everybody. Ni hao. Uh, hello. Bonjour. Hello again. Ciao. And Goodbye. Hello. <laughs> and goodbye <laughs> My brain's a little fried I'm not going to lie to you You look like you were having a big few days You are in the Gold Coast I did I was in the Gold Coast Because I wanted I've got a very big video I'm filming And I'll slowly leak details Over the next few weeks It'll be out early November Give them a little taste A little taste I flew my friends the Fairbarn Films up for it There are these Ooh. Kids from Adelaide who do the farm videos, mm. 700,000 subscribers, and they were on our live podcast, Tom? Correct. Give one or two interesting facts about each brother. Um, they're both tall. Yep. I'm giving facts about both. Oh, double. Both double blonde. Up. Nice. He's nailed that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so Hitler. Yep. Would have loved he, him. If he comes back, yeah. He's uh, first pick in the draft, they would be. <laughs> the draft of Hitler. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> weird way to start. You'd be third. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. <laughs> um, so I was up there. F- I flew up Monday to Wednesday because that's uh, the cheapest flights. <laughs> 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 no one goes to Gold Coast for the Monday to Wednesday. Yeah, true. Monday to Wednesday bender. <laughs> Let's wow. do the bucks on a Monday to Wednesday. You look like you're having a bender, bud, on Instagram. No, well, what it is is that, as you know, Tom. I have the rubberest arm ever. So even if I don't want to drink or go out, I feel obliged. But we also know that you've got a rubber arm that sometimes tips beer away, pretends to drink. <laughs> Very dishonest arm, they should say. Dishonest arm. That was such a weird part of my life that I got to share with you podcast listeners when I weird fake, part. fake I think, drunk I think at the Bucks happening. party. Fake drunk at the Bucks party. I feel like you do it all the time. I've noticed. Oh, yeah. You pretend to drink. No, I don't. Mm. What is this? Don't mm. start this podcast off with a dead set lie. I believe that. So, That's I'm in not the, a lie to me. I'm in the um, Gold Coast working like a dog. We had some things to film. And one day, they actually got some um, female extras, which Ooh. was a nice change for one of our videos. I didn't have to wear a wig again. I think you went to the strip club, Frenchie. No, they're called female extras. They're not called strippers, Tom. I saw many signs that it was a strip club. That was a Gold Coast nightclub. If you haven't been to a Gold Coast nightclub, for some reason, the bartenders wear lingerie. I think. What was it called? Sin City. That's a that's a strip club. Have you not been to Sin City? I've been to it in my dreams. <laughs> My wet dreams. <laughs> you have sinned in a city. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be a good spin-off for Sex in the City. Sin in the City. Wasn't there a show called Sin City? Spin City. Spin City. With Michael J. Fox. Yep. <laughs> it started off good, but it got a bit shaky towards the end. <laughs> and you sound like that was coming. You, you waited for I it, so I had to deliver. I was like, is it going to be me or you? <laughs> Oh, that is funny. Cheap shot. That is a cheap shot. Mm. Um, and so it was actually. So a you went club. to the strip club. It was a nightclub called Sin City, but there are girls who strip. No, <laughs> they're already stripped. They're post stripped. Naked women. They're in lingerie. Anyone who's have you not been to the Gold Coast, mate? I've been there. I don't. I, go, tell I, don't, you, I don't go to strip. I clubs. will tell you if I went to the strip club. It's not a problem, mate. I I'll, can't. I've been to them before, believe it or not, and I will go again. Then they're not really, they're very funny. Have I told you what I do at strip clubs? Masturbate in the booth. You told me that once. <laughs> <laughs> but after I masturbate in the booth. I don't know, chat. Yeah, the first time I think I actually went to a strip club wasn't until uni games. So I was yeah, like, bro, I was late as well. Yeah, I was I at I was uni as well. 21 or something. Mm. 
And I remember I walked in and it was just so funny to me because all these guys take it seriously. Oh, like bro. they'll get a spot as close to the stage as they can. They're like full, just real intrigued. They're getting like... It's creepy. It's kind of creepy. No, and, it's creepy. And what I was doing is like I waved to the girls when on the stage like a big hey and like a big thumbs up. And I was chatting to one before she was going on stage. I'm going, good luck out there. She goes, oh, thanks. Go, what moves are you going to do? She goes, oh, just the usual ones. Just take off my clothes and do use the pole a bit. I go, okay, good luck. Hope it's not too slippery. And then she goes, <laughs> man, I'm sick of these special guys coming here. <laughs> sometimes when I'm with you, French, you, you, do, you do act special. And I think you think sometimes that, I don't know, they think you're funny. But I think they actually think you're special. I'm not actually going to disagree with that. Like it's they actually I, do. I when I order at a cafe, absolutely, that's I what I'm thinking sound of. Sounds special. When we went to the cafe before the psychic, yep, that lady thought you were special as. Yeah, what was it? What was what? What, what I was normal that time. What was I asking for? You just come across special, whatever you do. I was <laughs> asking about halloumi, maybe. You like, we had this the place halloumi is proper, tacos. Proper healthy, eh? Like, <laughs> it is proper like, healthy, yes. eh? <laughs> it was just weird nah, I do get that vibe Sometimes people stop and be like Is he being funny or is he a bit slow Every time yeah. <laughs> It's not the worst rep to have though People treat you a lot nicer If they mm. think you're special Yeah That's a fact That is a dead set fact Hitler, not so much <laughs> what was with the Hitler chat, mate? You brought it up first. Does, so did he hate special people? Yeah, I'm I pretty sure he that. killed them as well. Oh, mm. there you go. The more you know, you learn. You learn on the Tom and Frenchie podcast. <laughs> so anyway, where was I up to? I'm at the strip club, and I remember. Oh, it was a strip club. No, when I'm at uni games, <laughs> and I distinctly remember because the girl I was saying good luck out there. Hope you've warmed up, and I was like, I know some stretches if you need to yeah, do. Yeah. She's like, trust me, I know stretches. I'll stretch my pussy on your face. Oh my God, she said that? <laughs> and she's up there, she's doing a move, trying to be all sexy and serious. And she hit one. I was like, thumbs up. I'm like, good work. Oh like a God. proud father. And she cracked up. She like broke. I was like, I got her. And then I've tried it every time since and they never like it as much. Oh, really? So it bombs. Surprisingly. <laughs> That's funny, man. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I, so. n- I hope I'm never in a strip club with you and have to feel your secondhand awkward. That's going to be our yeah. next adventure to the strip club. Oh, I really no. don't like going what to the strip club. What we do, strip club, the worst possible time to go. Monday morning, strip club. Oh, bro. Or as soon as it opens. Speaking of, while we're Male on this, and female strip club, equality. While we're on this, we had a breakthrough um, twist. in our uh, Last week, I told a story about seeing a Muslim prostitute with massive fake titties. So a big titty yep. burka wearing and, lady. And you were saying that you've been masturbating over mm. it all week. I it's remember you saying what that. I you said. said that was really I said good it with titties. my eyes. I didn't I, say it with my voice. I put that in the wank bank and I've been going to town. Tell me the twist, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> you know the goddamn twist. <laughs> I've a fan messaged us and said it was actually a man. Yep. So that's a double twist. So it's a man in a burka with big titties. That, They're like big fake that titties. That you jizzed on. <laughs> yes, that's the twist. <laughs> so, guys, if you're that's in King's you Cross, go in the look front out. door, Tom. That's why. Oh, that's why. That's why. That's why it was a special treat straight away. It was a special treat. <laughs> Jesus. So, you want to go to a strip club on a Monday morning? Yeah. Um, Are they it could, open? It could be a burger themed strip club if you, is that's what you'd like. Are they open? I don't actually know. I Sounds like you know. You're like a, the worst time. Well, I'm assuming it would be like a Monday, Tuesday. You know, the the D, t- the D crew, the D team. Not mm. D as in boob size. I oh, mean, as in, like, as in like F troop. Maybe F, not boob size again. It's sounding good. I want to go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> but it'll be like, A, no one will be there. B, it'll be the worst of the strippers. But what I'm trying to get is like, what content are we going to get apart from... We're going to go chat. We are going to ask questions that fans Ugh. write in. Or we just want we have our own questions. I'm all, I'm already uncomfortable in a strip club. Now I've got to talk to them. Yes, that's the whole point of going to a strip club is to talk to them. Oh, what do you do there? I don't go. Okay, so we're going to go in to the strip club and we're going to ask questions. We're going to have six questions. First one's going to be, what are your thoughts on what's happening in Hong Kong? 
Mm, that's a good I'd one. like to know. I don't really understand. Maybe they can. Explain, I don't understand. Maybe they can explain it to me. Maybe Ferrari will understand, or Mercedes, mm. or Cinnamon, Ooh, or delicious Mel. Okay. Sometimes they go with like real girl names. Yeah. Because they want you to think it's their actual name. Janice. Janice. Oh, that's a hot stripper. Janice on the pole. Yo. She doesn't Nur- even strip. She just does faxes. Nursing home strip club. Thoughts? I'd go. Yeah, I like would. to see them move slow. You know, it's more erotic. Mm. Mm. And they don't know they're stripping. <laughs> <laughs> that's hot. <laughs> their ponchos just blown off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah just ask some questions We and then we come back we obviously voice record it because that's our thing now we do creepy voice recordings mm. uh, and maybe some psychic stuff okay we're fusing psychic into it as well, well. Ev- I hope you guys did enjoy our psychic episode on Saturday yeah we had a lot of good response people saying it was our best episode ever I heard a few people say that I think people like it when we try hmm <laughs> <laughs> Like, we always try to provide the band time. We get the best stories to talk about and our most interesting stories from our life. But going out and about, leaving our house... You should try trouble. You should try that with your girlfriend. I should try showering, too, I was thinking. <laughs> That'd be a treat for her. Oh, yeah, bro. I was smelling... I was in a... Bro, Uber. we're wearing matching shorts, bro. I was in a taxi today. Matching shorts, bro? Okay. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was in a taxi today and I'm smelling him. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? And then I'm like, it may be me. Don't say anything. Not that I'll say anything anyway. <laughs> Surely you know your own smell. Yeah, I don't think it was my smell. I'm going to be honest. Usually, I'm going to say it was the taxi. They, I think it Some was. of them fucking hell. I think hell. it was. Even Ubers sometimes, you're like, fuck, dude. Crack a window. Because I got a lot of swimming in at the old Gold Coast. And I always... That's why I think... Because I'm a, I'm a beach boy. I need that ocean. The rebirth. That's what I need. Mm. Cleans me up. I've been in the is city too long. Nah, bro, it's Gold Coast. Everything's I don't warm. know what's going on up there. It's all warm. I'll so anyway, you. so anyway, mm. Tom. Mm, mm, mm. Everyone enjoyed the psychic, except for one person. Who was it? Your mum. No, I believe someone had a problem with star signs. Oh, yes. <laughs> My mum, I'll ask her. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. Psychics are the devil. <laughs> She didn't used to let us watch like Charmed and stuff like that. when we were Really? Up. You're yeah. one of them. Were you allowed to watch The Simpsons? Usually that was the yeah, cutoff. Yeah, The Simpsons. Is Most fine. families were like, no, to The Simpsons. Um, yeah, so my girlfriend listened to the episode and she wasn't stoked that the psychic was not on her team. She was like, she's a Gemini. You should don't put all the eggs in her basket and no. said stuff like that. So she, she listened to the podcast and she was dirty with it. So me. Tonya's got beef. Yeah, she's going to beat the shit out of that psychic. What was the psychic called again? I always forget her name. Me too. Abigail or some Carolyn. shit. Carolyn. Carolyn. Tonya versus Carolyn. Maybe we send Tonya in. Yeah, maybe. And we get her to ask about her Damn. boyfriend, Tom. And then say, this is my star son, this is his. What are your I thoughts? don't want to have to pay $95 for that gag. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it is expensive. It's but I honestly thought it. she would have done it for 5 to 10 bucks. <laughs> Oh, this is all the shrapnel I got in my car. I, I reckon she would have done it for a hand full of ciggies. Yeah. <laughs> for yeah. sure. Ciggy butts. <laughs> I reckon if we just brought round a case of beer and had a yarn with her, she would have been down for that. Oh, I think. And we brought ScoMo around. Oh, absolutely. Because he's a cool guy. He is a cool guy. <laughs> I've been telling people since. Um, uh, anything else we need to debrief? I had a funny psychic. one this morning. Oh, not for... Okay. Oh, for, for those listening, um, if you subscribe to our Patreon, we've actually put up the whole unedited audio recording. It goes for an hour without any edits of us visiting the psychic and you can hear it in its full awkward glory. And so all you have to do is donate the minimum amount and you can get in there. You, you get also there. get Christmas party invite and big news, we're moving into an office next, next episode, week. next week. Boom. So we will hopefully be able to produce two a week. Hopefully. Mama, we made it. But it's going to be cool. We've got a big Tom and Frenchy sign. If you sign. like the show, The Office, you're going to love our new podcast. It's all Office-related I hope banter, so. isn't it? Yeah. It About memos and mm. faxes. Mm. and Who ate my lunch in the fridge? I have my name on it. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Mm. And like HR stuff, you know, who fingered my butthole when I was asleep? It's Matt. Tom's friend, Matt. <laughs> yes. It's Tom's friend, It's Matt. always Matt. Who fucked my mum? Frenchy, hopefully. Your mum. No, your mum. You, that's what you were saying to the HR. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> that sounded <laughs> weird, man. 
So yeah, head over to patreon.com slash Tom and Frenchie. I will say if you listen to the full audio, you I I I, I doubt you'll be able to because she fucking rambles. Oh, there's no silence. And Tom is too polite. He never cut in. I tried to get in oh, a few bro. times. Tom just Absolutely. let it go. He's like, let you know go. what? I was like, she's on a rant. I'm not going to stop her because her witch eyes are looking into my soul. Yeah, that's literally... He was like, don't get in front of that. Just <laughs> just avoid eye contact. Oh, it's... I got bombarded. Imagine mm. deep eye contact when you listen to it. Bro, so we got speed dating, strip club, and what mm. else was our next activity for the podcast? Um, we've been invited by one of our Patreon members to go sheep shearing. Yes! That'd be sick. That's the, what I'm the most excited for. We'll definitely film that as well. In the strip club or at the farm? Yeah, it's big hairy bush strippers. <laughs> and we're going to go shear shearing. their pussies. The sheep related strippers. No. That's, that's I, I don't know about you listeners, if you've ever sheen a sheep. Sheen? Is, is that, that what not, it's called? Is that not? Charlie Sheen. <laughs> you Charlie Sheen a sheep? Yeah, you give it AIDS. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> That's what you get from drinking tiger blood, dude. Tiger blood, baby. Oi, how good was that when Charlie Sheen? Oh, when he was winning, bro. He had that three months of memes, and it was just the most interesting shit. Bro, ever. he was nuts. He was. He just lost his goddamn mind. Fire, but cocaine's a, a hell of a drug. Oh, as a character, you're like, you know what? You're providing so many people with entertainment. Mm. Winning. Winning. Another thing I thought I'd bring up is recently um, you posted an Instagram story and it was me with a bunch of uh, underage kids. Do you remember? Yo, so if you're new to this podcast, get ready for the weirdest meme we have. It's Tom being a pedo. (laughs) Those who listen, we know hashtag Tom is a pedo is very big. Yep, alive and well. Some reason... No context, roundabout crew posts a story. I see it on the weekend, was it? No, it wasn't on the weekend. It was during the week. Which was Last even week. weirder. Last week. Just during the week, 10 second clip, Tom's just filming kids. And uh, are they saying should I what? play it first? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah pl- play just it. play it, play it. Oh, wait, he, wait, wait, so Tom's the cameraman and then he's just filming kids and they look 12 to 11 years old. <laughs> so, one second. Okay, you're right. You're all right, bro. Oh, it's I don't know your phone. Don't worry. Oh, there's a mute button on the. Oh. I updated the Apple phone, and it's just got some shit that doesn't make sense. You know. Call them out. Fuck you. No, nah, they're all right. Here we go. What? So not only is <laughs> no, notorious pedophile Tom Armstrong filming kids, he's getting their names and what city they're from. For the records. For the records. So he can add them on Facebook, follow them home. I don't know. What, why did they give their where they're from? <laughs> so basically, for my uh, day job, I'm a video producer. <laughs> and um, I had to go film the drought summit because everyone knows in Australia there's a big drought. Yep. And I go to this. Uh, it's a drought summit. So people from age... 14 to 24, went to uh, this place in, I guess it was kind of South Coast. Mm. And um, they had like a weekend or three days or something of like courses and stuff about the drought. And I get there and of course, I didn't realize the age group. And that is literally like our Facebook demographic, 14 to 24. Yep. And And it's your Tinder demographic. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) And I'm there filming and I hear like a few words like Tom and then Frenchie. I'm like, oh, jeez. You know, you know when you ones. when you know yeah, it's coming. Yeah. And then all these country lads come over and they're like, "Oh, are you Frenchie's mate, Tom?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." But I try and keep my work and r- like roundabout crew yeah, stuff of separately. Course, cause, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you don't want those worlds combining. No. But then these people from like that I'm working for are like, "Why are kids wanting to take photo with this guy?" <laughs> You know, <laughs> like this video guy and everyone's wanting to take photos. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then they're like, oh, can we do shout outs? And I was like, yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I just start filming. And they all start saying their names and where they're from. And I was like, I'm just uploading that no context. <laughs> that's so funny. But they were stoked. They were like, yeah, give us shout outs. Yeah. I love it when you're with a, like a serious group of people oh. and you, they don't know what you do. Mm. And then you know you're going to get recognized in this situation. It's going to blow their fucking mind. You can tell by age demographic and especially kids from the country. Like 
they see the videos. They don't see people they've seen on online very often. Oh man, no way. So they, they get pretty excited. No, they all they're up for it. Yeah. They're, they're up. I was thinking maybe with the shearing the sheep thing, could we do tie in the, a drought relief podcast or something like That's that? That's what I was hoping to do because um yeah they were all talking about all the all the bullshit that goes on with droughts like people don't have money um like it's hard for their crops they don't have time there's all these mental health issues and I was like that could be a cool special we go out cheer some people up have a bit of fun have a laugh and then uh put a link to donate should we do a end. concert yeah concert maybe get uh sting to play okay Kanye west can you do one of the charity songs you know how there's always we are the world um, could we think of one that's okay kind of same tune i guess there is a drought there isn't raining Rain. that's all i got i'm doing backups you go again go again i already started okay. you're meant to join in there is a drought there it isn't, isn't raining, raining. And, and the, the cows, cows don't go. have food to eat. Nice. We'll share a dream. We'll share a sheep's cock. I am Tommy's a massive pedophile. So you are. As oh well. damn it! I'm really <laughs> fucking. You set yourself up. <laughs> I'm really. But I reckon that'd be fun. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm we'll, keen. We'll, Lock it in. A few weeks away. Lock it in, guys. And you know, let you us know if you live on a farm that's uh, being affected by the drought and you want you want a couple of cool dudes to come cheer <laughs> you up. We'll tell someone else to come. Let's go stay overnight. Yeah. Like in the barn. We'll camp. It's always so romantic in movies and books when they stay in the barn. You think mm. it's going to be this soft like uh, hay. You know when people sleep oh, in yeah. haystacks? Not soft. It's terrible. Because we used to, my parents used to have a farm. Down oh, really? In Berry, oh, lovely. South Coast. Mm. It was uh, 40 acres, about that, Ooh. which is pretty small. It's about five paddocks, six paddocks. And um, we had like 26 cows. Did you? Yeah, this is a true story. Hmm. Have I never told you about this farm? No, I don't think so. I was just saying, so I know about the farm life. <laughs> <laughs> when um, you went there once And we a had month. hay and shit. Very heavy. Hay bales it is, isn't very it? heavy and very awkward to, to carry. And very stabby. Very stabby. Mm. And we had rats and shit in there. Yeah, and cool. this, yeah, fuck that. We had uh, what we did it was really f- well. My my old man, so I could, I could literally do a new podcast. It's called "My Dad's Not a Farmer." Oh, and it's just stories of him fucking up on the farm. So there's a black snake near the shed. Oh, jeez. Okay, and so he wants to move it away from the shed because he wants to go in there to get the hay, all this sort of stuff. So we just. <laughs> It just lights a fire near it, and it, it lights the. Sh- it catches onto the shed and all the shit. In there. Oh man! Like hay is surely the most flammable thing. <laughs> but he started outside the shed, and then it started going oh, towards shit. the shed. He thinks that the snake's just going to move away. It was a really weird decision. That's funny. That's your genetic. Like you should just. That's yell something at your brother it would do. Your brother got those. Genetics. My brother's the same. That's something Matt would do for sure. Yeah, my brother's the same. Matt's. He thinks he's better. With, mm. with things like that, but it, the fire... The I fire. think his might have been more elaborate, Matt's. Yep. I think the disaster would still happen, but it'd be more elaborate to get there. Oh, he's brought a, the fire fire crews. What's they called? Fire engines? Oh, yep. Firemen to our house a few times. One time he had to... We had bana- banana f- trees in our backyard. Right. And it was his like job to get pocket money. He had to chop them down and... uh and take him out and put him in the in a pile or something. So instead of doing that, he just burn him. <laughs> He's like, that's way easier. I think there's pyros in your family. Yeah, I think so. And obviously, in a in a suburban backyard, you're not allowed to have a massive fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the fire, <laughs> the firemen come and they're like, what are you doing? He's like, ah, oh, just burning trees, bro. <laughs> that's cooked. Fuck, we used to get snakes all the time when when I lived in Queensland. And like I remember one time um, we came home and there was a snake in the house. Mm. And you've, you guys have all seen my mum. She is, hot. she just started hot, hot. yeah. Yep. But she started screaming. And my dad got an oven mitt yep. and a pair of tongs yep. from the barbecue. Yep. He grabbed that snake. Fuck <laughs> off! <laughs> no, yeah. he did that a few times when we lived there. He just sorted did the it out. Snake snap at him or something? Probably. What a that is an yeah. alpha move. <laughs> that is a fucking man. <laughs> Apart from the oven mitt. Yeah, the oven mitt. A it, snake's bite it's hard to look tough th- in an oven mitt. <laughs> a snake bite is going through an oven mitt for starters. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> we had another one where 
<laughs> where we used to always see this possum. <laughs> Oven mitt and a tong. Yeah, that's so that's Australian. That's as bad an option as yeah. the fire. Oh, I, I don't know if it's that bad. It's not going to burn. It's not going to ruin the house. It's, it's just going to, you're just going to get bitten by a snake. Was he trying to throw it on the barbecue? Yeah, we cooked it. <laughs> Actually? No. Oh. <laughs> Another time snake. there was a huge, we used to have this possum that was around the house. Like you'd see it and it had like scars all over it. It was fucking ugly. So we remembered this possum. Dude. One time it stopped coming around. We stopped noticing it. There was, we found a snake in the shed mm. and it had a huge possum Belly. It, like belly, you know how they have the big wow. lump. Queensland's fucked, bro. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Like it was huge. What um okay, I've got a few questions. Mm. Why don't we eat snake more? I think they do in Asian countries a lot more. Because it seems like it'll just be an be easier pretty way lean. to make it's an easier way to make sausage. True. I'm it's listening. Already, it's already in the shape. I guess people eat eel a lot. That's the snake of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, I guess. You eat trousers. There, <laughs> there is also sea snakes, which I would say are more the snakes of the sea. Yeah, by name. <laughs> <laughs> Eels would be the snakes of the dams, I guess. Yeah, and you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've all learned a lot today. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorite podcasts already. Dude, I had a funny thing happen this morning. Oh, hit me. I had a panic attack because... <laughs> that is funny. Not done. done. Story done. over. <laughs> I've been I've been on a weird diet and um I got real bad gas lately. Like it just smells bad, right? Listen. The story is getting better and better. Yep. And just real bad. And I was like holding them in cuz they're like a room clearer and I'm not mm. going to put anyone through that. Yeah, that's that's nice. It's, it's considerate, right? And so I'm driving to work, I'm by myself. I'm like this is my time. I'm going to let one rip. Let one rip stinks. <laughs> Disgusting, right? Yep. Come around the corner. Up ahead, an RBT. Oh, <laughs> amazing. So I'm, uh, I'm approaching amazing. this RBT and I look like I just smoked a joint because I've wound down the window. I'm like trying to wow. subtly waft the uh, air out. And that's amazing. I didn't get pulled over though. Oh, phew. Because yeah. it would have looked like you purposely farted before the cops. It just would have been, they would have, there's no one else there. They know it was me. Yeah, but you would it would have been like you like disrespectful on purpose. Yeah, but. It's just shame. It just would have been shame. <laughs> but I had that sinking feeling, so I kind of understand what drink drivers feel like. Okay, I've got two things from this story. Mm-hmm. I need. I need. Uh, one thing, what diet were you on? So I'm pretty much doing keto, but it's mainly just no, not not low carb and no sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least, like, because you had a beer the other night. Yeah, I wasn't fine. meant to. But yeah. it was low carb beer, so yeah, it's YOLO. Fine. That's good. Um, and no so sugar. for those who don't know, yeah, keto is just no carbs, no sugar. That's what you're supposed to do. Mostly meat. High f- high fat, but I'm not really doing the high fat. Well, mem- proper keto is high fat. I remember last, maybe it was two podcasts ago when I was coming down, I saw my gut and I said I was going to get on the bulimia diet, mm. I believe, or the skipping meals diet. I'm still doing the skipping meals diet. See, that's just, that's just I lazy diet. I don't think it's working. I'm not going to lie to you guys. You've never learnt about... Nutrition. I should have. I was a PE teacher. <laughs> Why didn't you? <laughs> I don't know. It didn't interest me. You're so not very interested in food, are you? No. Nah. That's weird. When something doesn't interest me, like even at school or uni, I'll just do enough to get yeah, through the test. I did as do you that do, as well. As you do. But food's something you eat every day. There's a... Well, not, as well, not a the skip and meal diet. <laughs> <laughs> but do you find that you skip meals and then you just get really hungry and you overeat? Yep. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. See, it's not... Oh no, it's not smart at all. I mean, it is fasting. It does co- it does work, but it it's only if you don't go too far the other way when you do have meals. Yeah, and then you just got to do the purge. You would do that. I feel like you do do that. Oh, I've done it. No, you do it when you drink. Do you have bulimia? No, you do it when you drink. That's not what we're talking about. No, I haven't done it from food. <laughs> I, I don't believe you. <laughs> I can't. Oh, you can make. Can you make yourself throw up? Yeah, when I'm drinking, usually. It's easier when you're drinking. Because there's so much liquid. Do you ever do that thing? Like, I don't do it when I eat, though. Sometimes if you've had a bit, lot of drink and you're like, I need to throw up, I'm going to be fucked tomorrow. And you go to the bowl, you start making yourself throw up. You can't do it, so you rub your finger on the bowl, put it down. That's fucking No, disc- I was joking. I feel like you weren't no, joking. joking. That came too quick. 
I reckon you would do that. <laughs> nah, I've never done that. But sometimes being near it makes me. Oh, absolutely. Like, oh, I'm at a toilet. All I have to do I'm is look toilet. at the toilet and see like people's skid marks and shit. I'm <laughs> vomiting. What toilet are you doing it in? Well, I've seen your toilet. If you're doing it in your toilet, yeah. you should be vomiting. I was because <laughs> <laughs> one of my friends I was at Gold Coast. We've had a had a good spew. Had a very good spew. Name and shame. Into a towel. Name and shame. Lachlan. It was Lachlan. (laughs) Into the towel, uh, into the the sink and stuff. I go, Lachlan, that's a rookie error. Into the towel. For all you young kids listening, best place to spew. First up, garden. Second up, toilet. Yeah. Sink, you got to push it down. Shower, you got to push it down. Bin, you got to take it out. Mm -hmm. Toilet, one flush. Garden, whose garden's that? I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's rank. This is the sort of gold you get with this podcast. Did we ever talk about, I think we did, my girlfriend in LA vomiting in her fucking wallet? Yeah, when Tanya, that was, very that was funny. so funny when we were in the Uber. That was that was a good move, but cause we, we would have had to pay if she to, fucking vomited in there. Yeah, to, to, to catch you up, if you heard this episode, you'll already know about it, but we're in, we're in the Uber. Because we were going drink for drink and American drinks, spirits, are fucking intense. Yeah, they just free Cause, pour. Because it's so much cheaper to buy booze there. They free pour the shit out. And they it. make their money in tips, so they want to keep you happy. Yeah, so on the way home, Tonya vomited. I could smell it before I could see it. Mm. And she vomited into like her wallet. And it w- was like a man-sized wallet. Like it was only little. And she vomited all in it. And I started mm. to say, what the fuck smells? And I saw it. She was looking at me. heaps guilty. And we put our windows down and we distracted the driver by singing, do you have your, your passport? passport? Did you, you get, get your shots? Girl, would, would you like, like to come, come back, back with Rob to America? America. <laughs> oh, such a song. That's, I will never get over that song. Mm. I will never get it's over beautiful. that song. R. Kelly. That is your finest moment. Do you reckon at our Christmas party, we can request it from the DJ? I'll be DJing, so yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only song just on repeat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> meme songs from the podcast. Yeah. Um, the other thing I had for your story about your flatulence mm. this is a good invention. For whoever, whoever wrote down our uh, movie ideas, maybe start writing down our invention ideas. True. Underwear. That holds in your farts, like absorbent, not nappies, but mm. like maybe a metal shield. Did you know a, a glass a jar did you know that this can catch has a been fart? Done. Damn it! But one it's, step it's one step ahead of yours. It's like a pouch, a patch <laughs> that smells like mint or something like that. So you <laughs> fart through it, it gets rid of the smell, and it makes it minty. I guess so. That's the worst. Then every time your mate smells like mint, you know what he's done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's like that's like air fresheners in toilet. Don't do shit. You're just like, oh fuck, I've come into a bad one here. It does help, but no, nah, it doesn't. The right air freshener. I used to have one that smelled like vanilla. Great choice. It was like like someone had make a sh- made a shit cake. Okay, that's Yummy. not a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I've ruined your invention. Oh. Well, I didn't. Well, so you want a piece of metal? Isn't that just going to push it? Well, up. I don't know the exact thing. What about a, 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 a butt plug, but not like a sexual one, like a fart one? Mm. Like I don't know. I what don't if you know. just shoved an air wick? And I think another invention, Jeez. what about like a microphone we put in there and when you fart, it changes the noise to something that you wouldn't be embarrassed. You're in an office, you're in a meeting. You're about to let one go. You don't want to do that. So he goes... And instead, what comes out is, great ideas, sir. Love that. Or, I chew. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Or, raise the stocks. Yeah. Mm. Or, equality. Nice. Just summon general. I remember I once went into the toilet and I was, it was raise, a real... Raise the stocks. <laughs> <laughs> We're business people. Um, and it was one of those toilets that for some reason is connected to like a lounge room. And there's just, there's no, you're right, mate? Go on. What was that face for? Keep talking when I do something weird. The no, just don't, don't do know. something weird. The listeners we don't know. We film this. Just got really bright when I took off my sonnies. Funny that. And then they felt like they were crooked, but I didn't want to say that because it was going to ruin your story and then you just... It already did. Go on. It was... It was. <laughs> he's doing it again. I'm not going to play your games. <laughs> and the living room was like a thin door so you could hear everyone on the other side so they could hear you doing a shit. Like, no doubt. It's one of those bad designs. So to cover the sound of the 
the shit hitting the water, I tried to do like a <clears throat> like a throat clear, but Ooh. then it just sounded like I was squeezing out a shit real hard. Yeah, that backfired. Did. Or when you shit, you cough. Yeah. And so when you cough in real life, everyone will be like, "Oh no, he's just shat himself." <laughs> <laughs> that is a that is another thing too, and I think obviously all your listeners, we want to keep you. Uh, knowing the smartest moves to do in these situations. You go to a new uh, partner's house, boyfriend, girlfriend, you got to go number two and there's like that sort of situation and they can hear you. Mm. What do you do? You know what? Like, or even restaurant, like as you were saying, we need to go come up with some options to cover it, okay? One good thing is uh, video on your phone. Oh, then they know you're shitting, don't they? Because they know you're Absolutely. sitting down. Absolutely. Maybe your phone's That's also ringing. kind of unhygienic. Matt, oh, I got a, got a good For idea. early relationship. No, I got a good idea. Your phone rings. Bring, 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 bring. Because everyone still has that ringtone. Yep. Um, you pick it up real quick. Hey, can't take the call right now because I'm doing a number one. I'm just peeing here. Mm. Um, it's quite a long pee because I have bladder problems. Mm. I have a gall... What is it? Gallstones? Kidney stones. Kidney stones. Um, please don't bring it up ever again. I won't ever talk about it ever again. But it's going to take a while... Um, thanks for calling. The shit's still going. Asha. The shit's still going. Yeah, and you're just shitting. Yeah, yep, it's still going. So you've got to keep going. And then you just keep talking. Going, no, I'm not going to talk. I'm not rude like that. I don't talk when I'm pissing. Oh, well, this time I am, but obviously I'm not. No, I, nice. oh, wait. You have to. Okay, I'll keep talking loudly. Oh, what do you want me to say? Oh, okay. You want me to do another McDonald's ad. Okay. Um, nice. What's happening this time? Monopoly man still? Do I get a line? No, just me screaming? Yep. Okay. Yep. Ah! Woo! Yep, okay, thank you. Was the scream a part of the story or were you in pain? Uh, who knows? And so oh, okay. if you've got to scream when you shit, which people do, mm. people do. There's nothing worse than going into a toilet stall and the person either next to you or further down is very audible. Like either heavy breathing, grunting, oh, yeah. or just any noises. It really, really annoys me. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Mm, give it to me, baby. No. Oh, that's the spot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And everyone's turned off the podcast. <laughs> so now it's just Tom and Frenchie listening. <laughs> Fuck, that's going to give me nightmares. You know when you give a head podcast like 15 seconds? Yeah, yeah. Where you just do a bunch of weird shit so when people skip ahead, they're like, what the fuck just... I think that's what we do that? every podcast. <laughs> every single podcast, that is what we do. Oh, this podcast. So we got episode number 50 next week. Oh, yeah. And we'll be in our new office. Probably be in our new office. We did say we're going to be using a soundboard 12 episodes ago. So let's don't say, never say 100%. What? You need wiggle room. Yeah. But I need time to do that, Frenchie. Say, say we'll most likely be in our new office. No, we will be in our new office. That's a listen, Tom. This is a life tip. Never give. Definites. No, but I know this. <laughs> I don't know why you're trying to say no because I've already organized it. Things happen. What if that a plane flies into that office and we're not there and you guaranteed them that and they're disappointed? I don't care. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> 99% you're sure. You can't say will. We will. Okay. We're going nowhere with this. We're going mm. uh, round about. <laughs> Hashtag sponsored post. <laughs> sponsored post. So, do you want to hear some stories of what's trending? I do. I really do. Well, too bad. <laughs> oh, okay. No, f- let's start off with some Patreon questions from our Patreon, the loves of our lives. That's the what loves we call of our them. lives. Our uh, Patreons. Mm. Our children. What does Patreon mean? Is it a spinoff of patron? And what does that mean? <laughs> like, customer. Customer. They're our customers. I believe they're our... Children. Children. Yeah. Fiddlers. Having... W- okay, this is a what would you rather. Would you rather. F- fuck your girlfriend in your mum's body yep. or, or fuck your mum in your girlfriend's body. Ooh. So it's like the mind of the mum or the mind of the girlfriend in the opposite's body. Ooh. It's like Freaky Friday. Ooh. That's good. Uh, is Tom's mum available for me afterwards? No, unless... As a reward. Unless she's your girlfriend. As a reward. Unless she's your girlfriend. She is my girlfriend. Your mum is my girlfriend. But that means it's 
my mum with your mum's head in it. Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is good. This, 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 I can visualize that a lot easier. Yep. Okay. Tom's mum with my mum's. That's so brain. fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Or my mum's body with Tom's mum's brain. <laughs> I've got to go. That's easy. Your mum's body. I'll do yeah. anything for that. <laughs> but right. here's what I here's what I'm gonna get how I'm gonna get away with that. Not now. I wait thirty years when mum's lost her marbles. Gotcha. Hopefully gets dementia. Hopefully not as rough for her. Mm. And then it's just Tom's mum. But what if she wants it to happen? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I hope my parents don't listen to this episode. <laughs> you answer. What's the question? The same question. With your mum's body. If you want. Your mum's body. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. You Patreons are freaks. <laughs> I have an important question that your that needs your wisdom and intellectual analysis at some point. Would you rather do some heroin with Michael Jackson? Yep. Or some ice with Rolf Harris? Heroin. Yeah. Easy. Heroin's a really good drug. That's why people get addicted. And mm. the problem is the first time you do it, it's always going to be the best rush and everyone chases that first high for the rest. That's why they get addicted and they just keep having to do mm. more and more. And if I'm going to do heroin, I want to do it with Michael Jackson. You want to do it with the best. Yeah. You like... I want to get him so high that he thinks I'm a kid and he fucks me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dream. I'm hanging out with a pedophile. Who am I going to pick? Someone who's won Grammys? Hmm. Or someone who's won Arias. Yeah. What do you What do you think? Absolutely. Someone who's got their own fucking Neverland Ranch, mm. and Disney, a, and is a ghost. Disney World and is a ghost, or someone who's, you know, still walks into primary schools. Mm. Someone who's called Rolf. That's a terrible name. It is a bad name. Very German. Is it German? Rolf? Yes, I believe it is. It's uh It means pumpkin in German. <laughs> yes. I'll, I'll believe it. Why not? All right. This is one of the trending news topics. I'm going to get straight into it. Okay, we're getting into the the stories. Trending topics. Trending topics. They're topics that don't actually trend, but they're funny fucking stories. So get them in your dick hole and pussy. Nice. Yep. Father and (laughs) six adult children who lived in Dutch farmhouse cellar for nine years waiting for the end of times, are discovered after one escapes and asks for help in nearby bar. That's a lot. That is a lot to take in. Imagine okay. being at a bar, having a drink. Yep. Some fucking Dutch child runs in and goes, Excuse me, mister. <laughs> I've been in cave this all what, my life. <laughs> it sounds like one of your wet dreams, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you got the voice down and everything. What are they wearing? I think that was German. <laughs> How do Dutch people talk? That's oh. pretty much... It's like off German. No, they talk like more... Sh- Schnapps and a pancake. Yeah. I am a and Dutchman. Grape and a bong. All our Dutch listeners, please tell us how you talk. <laughs> the best way to speak an accent is just to get generic words from that country, uh, names of people, and just say them over and over. Dennis Burkamp. Oh, that's pretty good. There you go. He's a Dutch football player. Mm. Yeah, nailed that. Unidentified man, 25, <laughs> escaped. I thought they said girl, but man. Wait, can we go back to the story? Did you just. Oh, this is the story. Are you serious? Okay, go on. <laughs> You're tripping, bro. Unidentified man, 25, escaped the farmhouse in Ruin Wald, close to Meppel. That means nothing to me. He ran into a bar and drank five beers before retelling the story to police. He was stinging for a pint. That was the problem. Officials found six adult children. Are they adults or are they children? Yeah, that's why I was confused. That's why I thought it was a different story because one minute it's a little Dutch boy. I thought it was a girl as well. Um, I just assumed it was a girl. Don't assume their gender, Tom. Don't you dare. That's my bad. Um, Officials found six adult children after discovering secret staircase to the cellar. Police then arrested a 58-year-old man at the scene for failing to cooperate. So, how old were the kids? So, one of them must have been 25. 16. Aged between 16 and 25. So, when dad's like, the world's about to end, everyone get in the cellar. Mm-hmm. Nine years, bro. You're 16, you're like, oh, I don't know. I'm not doing what dad tells me. Surely, you, you're adolescent. So, I'm not buying this story. But if you've got a dad who thinks the end of times are coming, maybe he didn't let you out very often before yeah, the true. cellar. Okay. He's then, not all there, bro. 
Yeah, yeah, fairly odd. So it's officials found obvious. a secret staircase behind a cupboard leading down to the basement after they were called to the secluded property in the village of Ruin World. Walled. I don't, I don't want this to sound dark, but was he doing stuff to them? You'd think so, eh? Uh, Local media gross. said the family were found after a 25-year-old entered yep, the pub. Five beers. Very best. That'd be a good beer ad. What beers? Whatever beers he drank should sponsor him. That's good. Whether you've had a hard day of work or been kidnapped for nine years. <laughs> <laughs> the best cold beer is, is Heineken. What's, Heineken. A, what's a Dutch beer? That's Heineken. Amstel. Heineken's Amstel. from Amsterdam. Bro, I'm from Amsterdam. I'm on this podcast. I thought I was going to be off because I'm a bit scat, but I'm, I'm on. You're back? I'm fucking no, because I've had that perfect not amount of sleep. Do you know when you get a bit overtired? Mm. Mm. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What would you do if you were trapped in a cellar for nine years? What would the first thing With you do? With the fam? With the fam. You just get out? <laughs> Tell you what, I'd make some good content. Would you? Thompson videos. I'd make I'd make nine years worth of Thompson videos. But what are you writing them about? You got no... Being trapped in... A cellar. A cellar. They're all cellar trapped related jokes. But I'd that's kind of like that Kimmy Schmitz show, right? I have not seen that. Mm. That is not on my to watch list. It was literally that that premise. They were basically underground because they thought the end of the world was coming for like 10, 20 years. And then she comes out and then it's like her trying to refit into a society. It's a pretty clever premise. Good yeah, premise. that is cool. I like that. So it's like she doesn't know a lot of shit that normal people know. And then she moves to New York and is like out of her depth. Okay, nine years. What would be annoying is nine years ago it was still DVD time. Mm. So you'd probably have 20 DVDs that you would know off by heart. Yeah, fuck. If they were allowed TV. Well, that was like back in the day when you did have DVDs and your family had like... You had a decent selection. You had a decent selection. But you but still watch the same movies were, like yeah, five times it was at just, least. Yeah, it was just... Uh, she's the man, repeat, boom. Amanda yep. Bynes. Yep. She don't miss. Mm. She don't miss. Until later in her career. She only missed. Oh, yeah. She didn't miss the heroin needle though. She didn't miss her medication. No, she did. <laughs> Um, and that was the thing. I guess you'd have a few board games you'd play. You'd hopefully get good at them. But if you're only versing your family, like, they probably suck at them. Oh, yeah. You'd know their strategies. You'd know their strategies. Twister wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't give you the arousing that it normally does. <laughs> Fuck. I never played Twister in my family, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is a weird game to play with your fam. And I, bet you every, I bet you half our listeners have. That's funny. You've played Twister with your family. Don't deny it, you freaks. Do you <laughs> <laughs> if you were dating a chick and she was awesome, yeah. you really liked her, yeah. went back to her family's place. <laughs> and they start playing Twister. <laughs> Would you be out instantly? Like the dad's, the dad's kind of in like doggy position with your girlfriend. Yeah, that is. That's a funny scene. And you're like, that this family's too funny, close, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, the little brother's like under her tits. Like it's like a whole thing. So oh, that is weird, isn't it? When they're heaps competitive about it. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I don't know about that, eh? <laughs> That'd be a good Thompson's video. Twister. The Thompson's play Twister. <laughs> how the fuck would you film that? You I have not thought this through. I don't know how I film any of them. I'm just a filming genius, bro. No, you're not. It's very <laughs> simple. They're not in the same scene. <laughs> if they're all playing Twister, that's going to be very difficult. I'd need three. Ooh. That's a fantasy football thing, meaning I won my matchup this week. Thank no you. No one much. heard that. Well, the phone went off, didn't it, Tom? Because you went. I Ooh. heard it. There you go. Boom. Um, that's why I'm in a good mood. I think. You, are you doing well on fantasy football? Oh, I won three out of my four leagues. That's not Fuck bad. Fuck yeah. No, that's a good ratio. You got thick feet, bro. Anyway, so you <laughs> go back to your girlfriend's house. They start playing Twist as a family. What if they don't even like invite you to play and you just watch? That's. I'd prefer that. You would, but at the same time, you're like, oh, yeah. Fuck. But what's going on here? That'd be weird. That was when I knew with, with my first girlfriend. That was when I knew it wasn't going to work out. Wasn't Twister, but her mum watched uh, Today Tonight and A Current Affair religiously and thought every story was true. Mm. She'd be like, oh, did you hear? There's hams 99% water at Woolies. Don't buy that ham. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, fuck, no bro. one cares, though. I was like, where am I? <laughs> 
Oh, that, yeah, that's a red flag. <laughs> you don't want those genetics. I've never forgotten that story. It was like 10 years ago, and I still remember. No, I, 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 still re- I still remember her just being incensed over the ham being 90% water. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. it is a lot of water, though. That is a lot of water in ham. I don't think it's true, bro. <laughs> I don't know. That's ham flavored water. That's what that is. <laughs> that's okay. a soup. That's a soup. It's not even a soup, it's too thin. It's a drink. Twister. It's like those um water where it's like a twist of lemon. It's kind of like that, but ham. Nine years. What are you doing? Fuck, bro. I don't. I don't hate the idea of going to the pub, but you definitely want like. Well, you'd you'd skip a meal, so you probably. Would. No, what are you doing? Nine years with the fam down there. Oh, what am I doing with the fam? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, you got, you're bro. trapped nine years in the cellar. You got Will, your mum. Uh, what was your sister's name again? Hannah. I don't know, bro. I'd fucking go crazy for sure. I reckon you, what I would like to see, I would like the Armstrong family band. Like oh, the Partridge nice. family. And we perform for each other. Yeah. That's sad. Or in the mirror. We probably would. We all like performing. Like you do. All That's of us. why I could see it happening. I could literally see that happening. All right, guys. It's talent show night. Like, uh, or Tom's, like the Jackson 5. Tom's going to tell dick jokes again. Oh, he does his pedophile routine. It's a bit old. <laughs> literally everyone here is overage. <laughs> No, I'd like to see a Jackson 5 where he's learning choreographed dance moves. Fuck, that's mad. That would be a sick way to launch the Christmas party. We do a choreographed dance. Choreographed dance. Can we do a flash mob? <laughs> no. Proposal to your new no, girlfriend. No, no. That would flash be the cringiest like, thing Frenchies ever. Frenchies get married. Even like, I like, like bringing memes back when they're dead, like dabbing. Dude, but I would 100%. Flash mob is so cringe. Nah, flash mob's one I want to bring back. I love it. It's that funny. I want to do... I always wanted to do a lad flash mob. Yeah. Where heaps of cunt... One walks up. Oi, what are you looking at, cunt? Nothing, cunt. What are you looking at? And then all of these lads... <laughs> come out from nowhere yeah. and start gabbering. Heaps of them. And then it's like a hundred people gabbering. <laughs> to, like cursor just... Like, Choreographed dab- someone gabbering. Someone drops... Don't yeah. fuck with cursor and then just yeah, gab. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That'd be mad. I remember you telling me about that idea. Yeah. We still, really should have done Still want to do it. It's not dead yet. Next story. We got sent this on our Facebook page, the Tom and Frenchie podcast. Mm. Uh, we've also Instagrams, got an Instagram. Tom and Frenchie. Shout out to our... We've got a Twitter. Don't follow that one. Follow the no, one can. some random started. It's <laughs> no context, Tom and Frenchie. It's still yeah. my favorite thing ever. Yeah, it's funny. Has he done many? I haven't seen many. Or she. Or um, she, yeah. Three out of four are very good. One or two are misses. But they're no context. I haven't even That's looked a brilliant at thing. Yeah. And um, I love it because you like... I have no idea what story that's from. Yeah. We talk a lot of shit. Mm. I, I wouldn't be able to pick out bits from today. Mm. I black out straight after this. Oh, I think uh, you wanking over burger titties is what... Well, I forgot I said that. and <laughs> I forgot I did that, to be honest. So we got sent this on our Facebook page uh, and we posted it because we really liked this story. Public servant sacked after being caught urinating in office kettle. That's so rank. That is the best prank ever. Is it? Ever. Best prank ever, Frenchie? Yes. Is it? Yes, that is hilarious. It's not the best prank ever. Imagine being the one who did it. Everyone's pouring their teas. (laughs) And they're pouring their coffees. They're out of their water and you're just cracking up. Fuck. That's funny. Do you reckon since it's hot, it'd kind of mask the taste for a little bit? Like you'd have a... Especially if you had a tea bag in it. I'd... Worry about smelling it on the boil. Once it's in True. the, once it's in, you wouldn't notice. Mm. You just be like, oh, on the boil. That's a bit of a weird. Yeah, it's on the yeah. boil, so they probably pre-boiled it, so it'd boil quick. Yeah, and when you pour it out and it's yellowish, I guess if you're pouring onto a tea bag, you might miss it. Is it South Australian public servant? Mm. It's weird that we're still using the word servant. Yeah, it's a full thing. If you work for the government, you're a public servant. Why can't you just say slave? Public slave. Oh, you mustn't say. It slave. means the same thing. Tell me how it's different. Uh, why am I defending this? I don't care. Okay, it's not different. So we, uh, South Australian public slave. <laughs> they were sacked, blah, blah, blah. That seems seems like a warning is enough. You reckon? Yes. You obviously didn't drink piss tea. No, I didn't. But if Would I you did, yes. On this podcast, drink a piss tea. Who's piss? Yours. Yep. <laughs> Can we do that? I don't know if people want to see it. I do. Guys, let us know in the comments. Um. <laughs> and I, 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 like, I'll try it. 
I'm not really. Wow. Chamomile. Put a chamomile mm. tea bag in Whatever there. tea bag you wish. Maybe some, or maybe some ginger because it'll just, ginger's good for you. I had a tea today that was uh, cinnamon and orange. Quite nice. You could try that with piss. Oh, might as well. Hmm. Everyone's salivating at home. Um, so, blah, blah, blah. It was a long, fired several months ago after a long running investigation. Oh, I love that. I wonder if they got DNA like and shit. It was shit. a sting. You know, DNA, like they had swabs of the kettle. Okay, a number of staff members have sought counselling and claim they've suffered post-traumatic stress from the incident, which they occurred just want some cash in bro. March last year. Yeah, you want some. You cash. want some cash? Oh, you're not stoked about it, but yeah, you're not traumatized. Oh, I'll yeah. never drink from a kettle again. It's like whatever, dude. I think if it was a targeted attack, mm. you'd be traumatized. If mm. one person was getting targeted, that's fucking funny. But if it's like a group thing, oh, we all got the pee. We can, you know, it it bonds you. Mm. It bonds you. But imagine the things he did that they didn't find out about. I'm talking cum on the keyboard. I'm talking poop on the mouse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How do you know this, Tom? I'm, I'm just saying. This we got a copycat. A copycat, yeah. Leave like um magazine letters in a note, ransom. Okay. Department spokeswoman drops this quote. The investigation found that urine was present in a workplace kettle. No blood was found. Why would there be blood? <laughs> Why would there be blood where there's piss? I don't know. I think she's got something wrong with her. <laughs> she thinks they they coexist. Someone needs to have a word to her. That is not normal. She's got some kidney disease. She's like, well, there's no blood. Mustn't be urine. Not one person would have thought to ask that. Oh, fuck, was there blood? No, we just drank urine few. Oh, yeah. good thing you didn't get the blood urine. Were they just worried about AIDS? I guess. Mm. But it's a weird comment. Seems like, okay, we weren't going to ask that, but thanks, Cheryl. The thorough investigation found that a particular individual was at fault and he's been terminated. That's all we know from this story. Wow. That's mm. one of... That's that's top five from today. Have you ever done any... Oh, we did a prank. Did we talk about that? The prank we did? I don't know. Is it a secret? I don't know if we said it or not. So the other day... I'm, I'm trying to remember if we said it. The corn chips. You really need to uh, the hot start listening chip. back to our podcast. Why would I, I do that? I think you're doubling up a lot. You never know if we've said something. Well, I'm asking you. Exactly. Either. I'm not fucking listening again. So the corn chip prank we would have done just before the psychiatrist episode. Psychiatrist. That's still to come. It's <laughs> unreleased. <laughs> Fuck, that would be an episode. I don't think we did talk about it. I don't think we did. Quick recap. Let's go. So basically, you know how we ate the world's hottest corn chips on this podcast? We had quite a few left. What? I was going to come in with a sting. Go. You go, say, end it. <laughs> do those first sentence again. So you know that we ate the world's hottest corn chips on this podcast? Feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you stopped me for that. <laughs> And we had, we only ate four total mm. and we had quite a few left and we were about to film a shoot, a skit with Frenchie and three other people. So I said, we should just put these in a bowl and put them out yep. and see if people eat them. Yep. And Frenchie was a bit hesitant. He, yep. he thought it was a bit mean, but I thought we're not going to offer it to him. We're just going to leave it there. Because I was just thinking like legally, if someone's got to like, uh, like it kills them. Yeah. Can we get in trouble? And Probably. Then Tom's genius idea was, yeah, don't offer them, leave it there. Yeah, exactly. If they just take the corn chips... That's not on us. That's on them. It's that's kind of rude, rude to We be should honest. sue them. And anyway, we had them They there. deserve to die. And people didn't come for about half an hour, so we'd kind of forgotten about it, to be yep. honest. And we looked up, and Kaya, Kaya. who is in quite a few Frenchie videos, yep. just munches into one. And we realize, and she goes these are quite hot or something. We fucking start crying with oh, laughter. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, they're hot, are they? And she hadn't realized how hot they were and she ate another one. And then just, she just started spiraling. She realized oh. how hot they were. She was dying. It was, it was hilarious. so funny because she brought it on herself. She ate the first one. And then like, she was trying to be a legend. Like, oh, they're hot. And we're like, they're the world's hottest corn chips. She goes, I don't care. I'm from Tafra. I'm tough, yeah. whatever. Yeah, pretty much. Gets another bigger one, like more flavor on there, puts it in and then dies. Oh, she was so battling. funny. She was it like was screaming, so get funny. me milk. And then these other guys came to film as well. And one of them, I think he did ask, or maybe we didn't answer. He goes, are these chips all right to eat? 
And we said yes. <laughs> well, we nodded. And he just crunched into one. Yep. And he was battling. Very funny. Battle. And I was like, use it for the scene. Yeah, and I think it helped him. It did. Yeah. Um, another story. Japanese food chain releases ad featuring naked Ronald McDonald with fries as Whoa, pubic hair. Oh, I'm listening. With fries as pubic hair. That's the best. Feeling hot, hot, <laughs> hot. <laughs> Is that your new thing? It plays, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm into it now the second time. That's a Show me the picture. Oh, wow. They're oh, wow. I didn't realize how like it's meant to be pubes. Uh, yeah, describe it to the people. So he's pulling it down like a sexy swimsuit model. He's ripped. I didn't so, realize Ronald was so, so ripped. It's a ripped Ronald, really good body. His shirt's off. Pants he needs down. to trim. He's got red Speedos on. And he's, he's pulling them down like you would to show your pubes. Yep. A lot of French fries. And they're French fries instead of pubes. I wouldn't want to see his McNuggets. <laughs> Zing. Thanks. Because um, I don't know about you, but if... Well, I, I've never eaten pubes, but I assume girls look for a man's pubes, say, I want to taste that, like I would a French fry. Yeah. In Japan. Oh, it's a, a Japanese thing. It's a Japanese Because I've never thing. had a girl munch on my pubes. It's a Japanese thing. Okay. They, they do it over there. I need to meet more Japanese women. Mm. Mm. They ask you to, instead of lube, they use sweet and sour sauce, which is... Oh, lovely. Mm, very That's nice. delicious. Yeah. It's a real good time. Lube never tastes nice, eh? Mm. Do you ever just have like a little... It's a little squirt in the mouth, little... Can't say that I do. Mm, lube up the mouth. But I'm open to it. Mm. Um, so, a popular Japanese chain has released ad features. Ronald McDonald, as we just said, it's got a red-coloured thong. Apparently, it's a thong. And he's teasing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and the tagline was, I'm loving it. <laughs> Classic. This is just... Okay. That was great. There I love that. I reckon that's a great Just ad. Just a hot Ronald. Very confusing. I don't know how that got approved because I'm pretty sure with McDonald's, it has to go to America to get approved. Oh, maybe it's... it's I think it's from like a competing chain or like oh, something that makes fun of it. it's like a half it. M. It's like a parody store. Some, it's like a parody store that they actually sell. Right. Some I feel like they're going to get that. sued as fuck. Nah, you can do anything in Japan. Okay. It's Japan. Hmm. Mm. Didn't know. All right. I've got one for you, French. Yep. Misogynist disgrace? Or just a joke. Mm. Meme photos showing a woman gagged and bound. Oh, someone's calling me to ruin my story. Mm, I don't like that. Woman gagged. Save it for when you're on the toilet. That's like, call true. Call me back when I'm doing a number one. Yeah, Wink. you feel and you call. Wink. Misogynist disgrace or just a joke. Meme photo showing a woman gagged and bound to stop her interrupting Bathus. The race <laughs> sparks fiery debate online. <laughs> I've got a picture to show you. That's and I thought bad. I'd ask Frenchie, is it sexist or not? It's. <laughs> I don't think it is. Mm -hmm. I don't think it is. Okay, a. Uh, it could have been the woman's idea. She's like, "This will be funny." Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, play on like you really love this Bathurst race. You don't want me. I talk all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that was her. Um, who said that. B. If it was, uh, let's say the classic. If this happened to a male. Would it be sexist? Like a woman's watching, I don't know, a cooking show, whatever they like. Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of... That's sexy. ...of ham. Um, yeah, that's a different thing. That's like horny, yeah. Fifty Shades of Ham. What do women watch? Like a murder documentary, they fucking love them. Yeah, I do too. Yep. You're a woman. I, th I know what women want. That's a, So, I, I, I think if like she was like, uh, Darren's been annoying me, so I had to tie him up. Now I can watch yeah. Bathurst in peace. Yeah. Laugh. If it was like eat, pray, love, that's a good example. It is a very... It's a bit kidnappy. <laughs> yeah, I was saying that, yeah. Like it didn't seem necessary to tie up her legs. But <laughs> She can't talk with her legs. But it's obvious that she would have been compliant and in on yeah, the joke. It's so joke. it's kind of like, yeah. It's like, can you get angry on her behalf for having a laugh? Yeah. A lot of women have very good sense of humor. That's what yeah. online crazy people don't realize often yeah it's but if she doesn't know about it i don't even think it's sexist i think it's more a crime <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's not in on it i agree <laughs> so i think we've decided it's here. there's like kids toys and stuff in the background how do you know they're not hers it's a are you ageist it's a little pink <laughs> tricycle <laughs> who's still on the pink tricycle did the you bathus was you watch on the, the weekend do you watch the race just surprisingly, I don't watch Bathurst, guys. Uh, I don't even have a car. 
So I'm not really going to watch Bathurst. I feel like they're just showing off. Oh, I got a car and it's really fast. I'm like, just, I don't <laughs> even have a slow one. So fucking get over yourself. <laughs> it's just too many laps for me too. Yeah, I don't find it interesting. I'd like a car race with one lap where you can take them out. I like it like Greece. You know, in Greece when they have like a that's, drag race. That's yeah. Where they have like cool things that come out and pierce the other tires and shit. Robot Wars. That is the pinnacle of mm. racing is Greece. Greece. Um, second is Robot Wars. <laughs> third is Mario Kart. RuPaul's Drag Race is third. That's third. Fourth is Mario yeah, Kart. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about Roxy Jusenko's, uh So basically she's just some PR bitch. Yeah, I have no idea who that she's is. She's just annoying. Um, trying to get spotlight all the time. It's a bad uh, name. Okay, yeah, I'm going to lead with that, Roxy. I like Roxy. Just Sanko. Change it. Sorry. But basically, <laughs> there's a video of a female jogger doing a shit in front of her house, in front of her office. She just squats down and rips out a shit right. And I think it's been happening multiple times. She just full drops pants, does a little shit in front of her car. And she's trying to, f- she put it on Instagram to call this lady out. Like, who is this? That is amazing. Have you ever had to do something like that? That is amazing. So she hates Roxy Jasenko. Hates the name Jasenko so much. Must be. I'm shitting on your name. That is so... Okay. Shitting in public. We've had your story about it. Mm-hmm. This woman would have had to wait till the last possible moment. Because she didn't want to... You don't want to have to force one out if you're doing it on a driveway in daylight. She did it between two cars, which... She probably didn't realize there was a camera there in her defense. A bit more privacy, but still, she's waiting until she needs oh, to go. She's desperate. She ran it and jogged it out of her body. Yeah. I think that's fair to say. Yeah. She had three coffees and was like, this is for you, Roxy. Mm. I I think it's funny, I've decided. Mm. But I still think the pee in the kettle is funnier. Thoughts on us mm? going and pooping out the front of her house? Just for lols. Is it illegal? Yes. Is it? Probably. Oh, it's on their property. It's pretty what gross. If it's, well. on it's probably yeah. indecent something. Yeah, you're right. Actually, it is a bit gross. I'm going to say no. I'm if we dress no. up as a long-haired female jogger. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. How will they ever know it's us? Or as a dog. And like, I'm not a... I'm not a man. I'm a dog. That's very. Funny. I'm a little dash hound. That just got a lot funnier. Imagine yeah, the video. Yeah, on all fours. And You've stuff. got a full body dog costume. Ruff, 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 the ruff. asshole cut out. <laughs> yes. Hilarious. And what? Maybe we can have someone walking us on a lead, and they pick it up. A dog in a human costume. <laughs> okay, and they pick up after us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot of training, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. I think this is the dumbest idea we've had. Don't write that one down. <laughs> write it down. Don't write it down. Please, write it down. Um, I think we're going to finish off with some five-star reviews. Yep. We've got some more stories, but I want to save them for next episode. I want to always keep this fresh. And Guys, if you want um, anything particular for the 50th episode, talk, us talking about things that have happened in the past, um, funny, oh, yeah. funny segments we should bring back, guests you'd want to hear from, Hit us up on Patreon or our I Facebook think, page. I think we need another chapter of My Granddad Wrote a Porno. Absolutely. The last chapter sounded racist. It wasn't, guys, because it's all about to end beautifully. It's I may didn't not think, end. I didn't think it sounded racist. No, it wasn't. I was on board. I don't remember it, to be honest. Neither do <laughs> it's I. so long between <laughs> chapters. I'm doing tours. I'm going to Gosford on Thursday. Fuck yeah. Uh, like Central Coast show. It's only got 30 tickets left. Don't miss that one. Port Mac, then Central Coast. Then next week, I'm going back to where Turn It Up all started, where the guy threw the glass at me. Oh, shit. I'll be in Rockhampton. Oh, I'll be looking forward to hearing Emerald. about that. So we're going to have some fucking tales What if he's for there? Your... Oh, fuck him, won't I? You actually. No, I'll get a glass and I'll drink out of it with him and say, we put the beef aside. Nice. No more pack and biggie. It's not going to end like that. That's cute, man. Yeah, bro. I know my scene. I know my, r- my rappers. All right, where Who, are the fucking things? This who, is always a struggle for me. Who's your favorite? Out of what? Asian rapper. Asian rapper. Mm. There was a band, I think he was half Asian, TZU, they were Australian. I haven't heard from him in a long time, but... I said Asian and you said they're Australian the very next sentence. But he's Asian, Australian. No, full, I want full Asian. You want full, like, Chinese? I don't listen to Chinese rap. You should. Missing out. What are you eating right now? Strepsil. <laughs> Diff lamb. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, help a brother out, this is called. That's a bad start. Tom and Frenchie, big fan of the potty from day one. Just need some advice. I'm applying for Big Brother auditions and it's asking for a two to four minute video. Yep. I've never auditioned for a TV show. What do I put in the video, do in the video? Easy. P.S. You should come down through Theodore when you're in Rockhampton. That's a it's name. Only That's someone's name. That's not a town. Who it's two it? and a half hours southwest. Only if you have time. Love you, Tom and Frenchie. You're just a sick cunt. From Dale X. I love that question, but also like, was that a realistic suggestion? I'm doing a show in Rockhampton. He wants me to drive two and a half hours to Theodore. And we know you can't drive, so you're going to have to get an escort. <laughs> two and a half hours to Theodore, then two and a half back before my show. Yep. I think if you're a <laughs> real real supporter of your fans, you'd do it. <laughs> I'd do it for you, Theodore. Big Brother video. His name's not Theodore. <laughs> it's Theodore now. Theodore, I'd do it for you. Um, Big Brother video, easy. We talked about this last episode or the episode before. Mm-hmm. Two minute video of you showering. That's all. That's what the people want to see. That's all they want. Shower. And hopefully, you've either got a monster cock or, or a hilariously one. small yep. one. That gets ratings. Pick one. And if it's not either, you're going to have to cut it down to a small one. <laughs> Another good option. Uh... Instead of pubes, French fries. French nice, fries. I like that. And then at the end of the video, just scream, I'm loving it at the camera. <laughs> I'm loving it. All right. This one is titled YTB or Yeah, the Boys. Yep. I'm familiar with YTB. Mm-hmm. G'day, boys. I just had an idea for a couple of Halloween costumes you can use if you want. Mm. Here it is. Sir Rolf Harris and a preschool t- preschooler or the King of Pop and a stolen preschooler. That could be cute. The King... The- the king of pop. We're going to dress as Tim O'Matic. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's banter. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I was trying to think. Of, I was really struggling. I actually do want to do a video for Halloween with you, French. About Tim O'Matic? No, but get a makeup artist to turn you into me and me into you. I love that. In. I reckon that's I'm bad. In. I'm in. All right. Uh, Zach from that one time. Afternoon, lads. My girlfriend walk in as I was watching Frenchie Spread Eagle on the Short Shorts podcast. Yep. Pale white French fries. Quality alt tab to Pornhub. Easy to explain myself. Zach from that one time. Could have sworn I seen you in a KFC ad, Tommy. It was McDonald's. It was McDonald's. I don't know if that's a troll. It's what? very obviously McDonald's. Oh, I think he may right. be trolling you. I have had someone think it was KFC. They just... Oh. yeah. Um, I have been inundated with comments about my man spreading from that episode mm. uh still gonna do it it was furious i'm not gonna lie i wear shorts and i keep my legs open because i had a massive ball and i got used to sin like that so don't blame me blame my enlarged testicle that i had mm. for 19 years hey longer it was like 23 years what the hell yeah did you really have it for that long no i fluctuated so it wasn't always Yuck, massive dude. yeah it was cool Sorry. but it filled out my speedos very well sick body boys love what you user doing Waiting for that Christmas party. Can't wait to hear from those sick accents. Can't ha- can't wait to hear those sick accents. Also, all these marketing team from Maccas must be wondering why there is Tommy's a pedo comments on their Insta ad. How funny is that? Frenchie, mate, you're spitting fire with them freestyles. Not even kidding. Anyway, keep up the good work, boys. Hashtag Frenchie, you sexy beast. Hashtag Tommy's a pedo. Hashtag sickest potty ever. Hashtag Frenchie, go get, get a super. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not getting a super. Why do you I've think that you're too far gone? That well, is I I've had one. I don't know what it is and I've never deposited into it. I had one from teaching. You'd and then I tried to get the, the login so and I got do. it and then I forgot it immediately. Very um, easy to sort out, Frenchie. We should do possibly do a freestyle to finish this off mm. if he's loving it. Okay. I'm loving it. Do, 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 do. I'm loving it. Do, 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 do. I'm loving it. Do, 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 do. Yeah. I'm loving it. Do, French do, 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 fries do, do. for my pubes. I've got it. French do, 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 fries do, do, for my pubes. You want some it. sweet do, do, and sour do, 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 sauce do, do. out my I'm cock and the French do, 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 fries do, do, pubes do, do, in your mouth and I'm it's hot it. and yeah, chilling hot, boom, boom, hot, hot. Nice. Brought it all together. Wow. Thank you for listening, you French fiddlers we'll and see you Tom's next children. Week, new office. Fucking love this episode. I hope you did too. Get around my show. Get around our socials. Get around. Tom's big head. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much.